to make some beef short ribs, Australian beef stock short ribs. And uh, this is for the, the garnishing later, you know, and uh, cooking it in tomato paste, uh, chicken broth. We're gonna have some wine on there. We're getting ready to season it up. And then later, we're gonna add the, the vegetables so we can have some broccoli, some sweet, uh, some uh, white potatoes and some carrots, the steamed nose, and then, uh, <clears throat> and this is gonna be the dinner tonight. And tonight is a beef short ribs dinner. We're gonna cook it in olive oil to braise it. So we get the olive oil ready. And we braise these in the olive oil. They say because you don't wanna uh, just put them in the oven, we're gonna slow cook these in the oven. 170 for an hour and a half. So you don't want to just cook them in the oven because they look like they're boiled. So you want to braise them. So we're going to bring this up a heat. We're going to put some, some, some Himalayan on here. Yeah. We're going to rub that in real good. And then we're going to put some uh, black pepper on there. We're going to rub that in real good. And this is the beginning of the process. So uh, you stay tuned as we get ready to put it down up in this mug right here. Oh my goodness, this is gonna taste so yummy. We're gonna braise these, right? And the olive oil. Oh. Give them a little bit of brown. Braise these in the olive oil. Give them a little bit of brown. If you, you don't do it this way, and when you cook, slow cook them, they'll just look like they're boiled, and they won't they won't have that same flavor. So you bring them up here in the olive oil. Let them get a little brown on them, caramelize, I think the word he used. Yeah. Of course, the librarian is on the camera, and she'll be doing the editing because she's good at that. I, I have no idea. I'm in luck. So, Get them all brown. I went and bought extra because I figured this is going to taste good so we can have more for a little lunch tomorrow. Put a little salad with it. Woo! That's just enough to open your eyes up. Chicken stock is okay. So we're gonna put some chicken stock in there. So we get everybody brown first. I don't know I'm missing them. Okay. Almost done. I just want them brown. Then we start the process. Oh, that's what did you add? Okay, this is the garlic. He said just put the garlic in there and let it just have some fun. 
Just let the garlic stay in there. He didn't even, he didn't even peel it back or nothing. He just let it stay right in there. And then we're gonna put the, the puree in there. The tomato sauce goes in there. Let's just put the tomato sauce in there. Yeah. Right. And then, uh, Oh, oh, this is just the anticipation. Anticipation. Red wine in. Come here. They say you bring that red wine over here. Sweet, take up. Okay. Stop what here. is that? Red wine. Red wine. Oh. Bring it up to the bottom. You need to look at the bottom. The then, the uh, so so then we'll take it down. And then we'll bring in the, the chicken stock. And then we'll cover it. Oh, wow. The great thing about slow cooking is you do most of the work in advance and then put your feet up. Five or ten minutes. Pulling off the, the alcohol. So I'm going to let that stay until the alcohol comes off to stop smelling it. And then we'll come back with the chicken broth and we'll let that come back up to a boil. And then we cover and we go into the oven for an hour and a half at 170. And ooh, ooh, ooh. Then we'll make the, um, the, the, the other things, the mushrooms. We're doing the mushrooms. The, um, parsley. Yeah, the parsley for later for garnishing. And, um, you know, this is where it's at. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. Oh, I wish you could smell it. It's coming off of there. That, the alcohol is coming off of there. Got the puree in there with the garlic. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to get the, the beef broth and the chicken broth in there so we can let this start really, really simmering together. Oh, I think this, the beef is gonna fall off the bone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the beef gonna fall off the bone. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, be back. Because broth. if we would have had universal health care like the rest of the goddamn Western world, about two or three hundred thousand people who they say died from COVID. Time out to, to get a new oven. Slide that bad boy in there. We'll slow cook these, these buggers. So cooking, we'll wait till five minutes before they come out, and then we'll make the the other things that go with it, and we'll put the 30 minutes. We'll put the broccoli, <clears throat> the carrots, and the potatoes in the rice cooker and let them steam. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. All right, let the fat from the pork boil it down. Then we throw the mushrooms on there. And when the fat boil it down, you won't see the white. And you have crispy. Then you throw the mushrooms on there, and this goes in with the, uh, the uh, barbecue, with the um, short ribs. We're gonna put some mushrooms with the fat, uh, and then get brown. We're gonna brown these mushrooms with the pork fat. Because 
The mushrooms taste so yummy with the pork fat. And once it get brown and soft, and you lay this next to the pork, next to the beef, and you just uh, we wait till you see the sauce that comes off of this bad boy. And it's gonna just make everything taste really, really enjoyable. So we let them get together and do what they do. Okay. Yep. That pork is tender. Oh yeah, that pork is tender. Those mushrooms are getting that sauce on there. Oh my goodness. To prepare the, the carrots and the uh, potatoes and the uh, broccoli. And we'll be able to have our vegetables to go with our short ribs. And of course, I think this is gonna be a big dinner. So we won't uh, overdo it. But we gonna do it though. We gonna do it. And this is how I do my potatoes. And then I stab them real good and they come out so soft and yummy. Oh my gosh. Especially when you when you baking it. I mean when you um, I'm gonna use the uh, rice cooker and that's gonna give it a different uh, because it's going to be with the with the vegetables, so it gives it a different flavor, and it'll it'll cook all the way down soft, and you can just squish it, throw some potato some uh, butter on it, and it's just perfect. So we're almost there. Got 30 minutes on the on the on the uh, left on the. Ribs, I'm not going to go all the way with this. I'm just going to go half broccoli. And potatoes. Carrots, all fresh. All right, and then we're getting ready to take the, the short ribs out. It's been an hour and a half, and they're calling. Here we go. We put them right on the top. There's a lot of juice in here, and we need to get the garlic out so we can. Oh, that's the, ooh, the smell. Okay. We're gonna get the garlic out. Oh my goodness. If you can smell this. We're gonna get the garlic out so we can get the juice out the garlic. That's what, that's what uh, the young cook said. The gentleman is no longer with us. And um, then we'll take the sauce out. After we take out the, the beef ribs, What he did, we're going to get the puree for the mushrooms, get all that juice out of there. I mean, the garlic, get all that juice out of there. Yeah. Ooh, that smells so good. Whoa. And he said to take that right there on the bottom there, take that off too. Then we're gonna. That smells good. Yeah, that smells really good. And then we're gonna move the meat so that we can. 
Oh. Cause we gotta pour the juice through there. Oh. So we're gonna move the meat. Can you see that? Mm. Oh, it's falling off the bone. The beef is falling off the bone. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Short ribs with the bone. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I wanted to cook a special dinner for this special lady. Thank you, baby. Because she always take care of me so well. So I said, you know, I could take one weekend, and maybe I'll do it again, and cook her a special, special dinner. My word. Now, Look. the sauce goes over garlic into this pan. Let's see if we can successfully achieve this. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's working. Right through the garlic. Oh, right through the garlic. cooked in with the garlic. Just a little. And I'm gonna put some on the potatoes. So I don't have to use butter. I can use the sauce from the beef. Oh my gosh. That is gonna taste so good when you smash that together and the potatoes are so soft. Now bacon and the mushrooms. Put some bacon and some mushrooms on there. They said be generous with the mushrooms. Clearly, I'm being over generous. And then they said put a little parsley on here. Beef, braised short ribs with mushrooms. Good. Good and muggly. That is so good. All I can tell you is uh, this is going to be an uh, experience for the taste buds. And I hope y'all enjoyed this cooking um, I haven't cooked in so long. So I'm really happy and I'm going to um, enjoy this tremendously. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, come on back. This is why I love Taiwan. Okay.